You could say Michael Phelps is making it look easy if what he's doing wasn't so hard to pull off. Phelps is five for five, not just in gold medals, but also in world records set at these games. Wednesday's episode of the Phelps show began with the 200-meter butterfly, his signature stroke. Despite a goggle malfunction, Phelps touched the wall first by almost seven-tenths of a second, edging his own world's best time by just six hundredths of a second. An hour later, Phelps led off the 800 freestyle relay. Teammates Ryan Lochte, Ricky Behrens, and Peter Vanderkay brought the gold home in a blistering pace that was almost a full five seconds better than the previous world record. With the daily double, Phelps is now the winningest Olympian ever and three golds away from topping Mark Spitz's three decades old record of most golds in one games. A Russian competitor said of Phelps, he's just a normal person, but maybe from a different planet. Former gold medalist Gary Hall Jr. describes the Phelps phenomena this way. This is how good Michael Phelps is. I mean, he's just blowing away the competition. He is making it look easy. That's what's scary. As Phelps makes Olympic history, his teammate Katie Hoff is having a games to forget. Hall finished fourth in both the 200 freestyle and the 200 individual medley, with just one remaining chance in the 800 free to bag an individual gold medal in Beijing, Hoff's performance is raising questions. I think that she had an off swim in the first event, and for some reason she hasn't been able to get over that psychologically, and it's affecting the rest of her performances. As for Phelps, there will be no gold on Thursday. He's not entered in any of the event finals on the schedule. He'll be back Friday morning, though, with a shot at two more gold medals. Jason Bronis, the Associated Press, Beijing.